from Vancouver Breakfast. And hey, you know, if you watch those late night uh, infomercials, there's uh, Anthony Robbins who tells you how you can be a better you. Susan Patter helps you lose weight. But what about magic? Well, Robert Wong is here to show us how to be, how to be motivated through the use of magic. And we talked there about some of the, the big names in motivational um, speaking. A lot of them have their late night infomercials, as Amir was just talking about. So it can be a big business. Why do people need to be motivated, Robert? Well, I think everybody needs to, uh, that constant spark to uh, redefine their passion in life and to uh, excel in whatever they want to do and just get to the next level. And people who are at the top of their field, you know, they've done really, really well their whole lives. They're, you know, they're going, going, going. All of a sudden, they kind of hit a low, and they just don't know how to keep themselves motivated and keep going. What do you do for someone like that? Well, I, I hope that I spark a creativity in them so they can redefine themselves and where they place themselves in the workplace and, and re-energize that passion that they had before, that they've lost, and get a new one. Now, why magic? Well, magic's the perfect visual aid to spark that uh, imagination, that creativity in someone. And magic, which is uh, making the impossible seem possible, seems is the perfect medium to uh, convey messages of motivation, self-esteem. And how do people react when you bring magic into it? Are they kind of like, what does magic have to do with motivation? Or, or do they react really well when you introduce it? Actually, the magic is used as the platform to communicate the message, just like a singer. I mean, they, they're entertaining you with their voice. So I'm using the magic as the medium to convey the message, which gives it a whole new dimension. Well, show me how it's done. Sure. Well, I'm glad you asked, Linda. And I brought this. A little, dental floss. little dental floss. I'm going to tell floss? you. Floss, <laughs> honest. Well, I'm going to tell you a little life story with dental floss. Okay. You, okay. Now, Linda, do you remember the first time you tried something and it didn't work out? Oh yeah. Okay. How about this, Linda? Remember the first time you fell in love and had your heart broken? Yes. It's all right. <laughs> this is what we do as we go through life, Linda. We look, we search for someone or something to fulfill a void or an emptiness inside that we think we have, and as we go through life. A wonderful thing begins to happen to us. We start to learn and grow from all our good and bad experiences. And more important, our self-esteem begins to improve. And then we discover, Linda, it's not someone we're looking for, not something, but to be true to ourselves. Because if you're true to yourself, a byproduct of being true to yourself is, is you'll be happy. And if you're truly happy, it doesn't matter what type of relationship or career you're in, if you're compromising yourself, if it doesn't feel right, Linda, you'll get out and move on. Never settle for second best and don't stop till you reach the top. And if you believe all this, Linda, you'll achieve success in life and everything will work out in the long run. Oh, look at that. Very nicely done. Unbelievable. Thank you. Now, how do you do that? I know you can't tell me. No, but actually that's the experience that I take my audience, that, that sense of awe and wonderment about life and the magic is a perfect aid to help convey that. Robert, very cool. Well, congratulations oh, on combining you. magic and motivation and uh, you did a fine job there and good luck. Oh, thanks. Thanks.